It's currently 3 a.m. And I just have to, I'm kind of sitting here wondering what in the fuck is YouTube doing? Well, I guess I'm not getting monetized on this video now because of that, but that's besides the point. I'm not worried about what's going to happen to my channel because we don't even have 500 subscribers yet. I'm more concerned about what YouTube is doing to dig themselves a hole into the ground that they keep changing the policy on the content that's being uploaded here. Today we're talking about the new monetization feature or policy change that has been recently instated for all YouTubers across the channel. and. Let me say it is abysmal. Absolutely atrocious. Like I said, it's it's actually 3.17 in the morning and I was getting pretty fired up about it because I was thinking, what are these big YouTube channels going to do when all of their videos start getting hit? People like Jacksepticeye, these are just examples that I'm throwing out here. Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, Dashy, the Grumps, and even a personal favorite of mine, These, I love all of those channels too, but someone who holds very close to my heart, Boogie29888. Uh, is getting demonetized because he's talking about too sensitive of subjects, which is just unacceptable. Like, he struggles with anxiety, he has a severe anxiety disorder, and he tries helping people out by talking about it. He talks about suicide, <clears throat> he talks about depression, and his videos are getting demonetized because it's too sensitive of a subject. And YouTube is boarding the train of, we don't want to offend everybody, and we're throwing out our trigger warning bot to make sure that anybody that might get offended by this, or, uh, might get too upset with it, we're gonna flag the video and then demonetize it. How is that fair? You are limiting their speech, their freedom of speech, on a channel that was about them being able to say and upload what they want and express their creativity through video. And now, what it looks like YouTube is doing is they are starting to move towards a kid-friendly platform. And why would you do that? You YouTube has been something for over 10 years now. It started in 2005. And it's it's just unfathomable that a big corporate company like Google who owns YouTube would allow such nonsense to happen. And to me, what this is going to do is it's going to alienate all of the big YouTubers, even another favorite YouTuber of mine, Review Tech USA, has talked about this way before it actually happened. He said that YouTube is going to die because of the way that they keep changing all of their policies and their algorithms. For anybody that doesn't know, YouTube used to pay their content creators based off of views. And when people started taking advantage of the clickbait through something like, oh, there'd be a Minecraft gaming video, and they would put a thumbnail, the little picture that you see on the video. It would just be a girl in a bikini or it would be some raunchy, borderline NSFW picture. So it would bring in the views more and then it would have nothing to do with the thumbnail at all. And then people would just abandon ship, but YouTube had to pay them because they got the views. So they changed the algorithm. YouTubers got paid based on minutes watched rather than just the view, the click itself. And that changed, that hurt a lot of channels because channels who were uploading animation, for example, uh, Ross O'Donovan, also known as Rubber Ross from The Grumps, talked about this on his channel, where YouTubers who were animators were putting up one to two minute videos were getting paid fantastically because they're getting the views. And then once it changed over to the minutes watched, a video that was one to two minutes long would get barely any revenue compared to what they were getting before because it, when the video is longer, it allows for YouTube to put more ads up there. And so everybody started counteracting that by adding uh, ad blocker into their, into their browsers. So you'd have no videos play before, no ads play before it, no ads come up in the channel, and then you'd have no ads at the top right corner of the actual YouTube screen itself while you're on the desktop version. And now with this new policy in place where 
if you're too profane, there's too much swearing, if you're talking about a sensitive subject, about a rape survivalist, or talking about anxiety, or depression, or suicide, things of that nature, you have the potential to get demonetized. And that's not fair to the creators who are putting these videos out there, who still get paid on their content, and then are trying to also help people at the same time. That's not fair to them. This is a platform that says, we will pay for you if you... It's kind of like a 50-50. You give us something and we'll give you something in return. And it's going to hurt so many big channels that they're going to look for another platform, which is a perfect segue for the platform that I'm going to be moving all of our stuff to. I'll still upload here until we start getting hit with the demonetization, but I think all big YouTubers should consider moving to VidMe. I implore major YouTube channels such as Boogie2988, The Grumps, Markiplier, all of those guys to start looking into making their own VidMe channel. Because if VidMe gets their act together where they can actually monetize their videos and start paying their content creators, they're not going to censor their viewers because they're capitalizing on what YouTube is now destroying their foundation. And I think uh, VidMe with its simple layout, it's very similar to the way that Reddit works where you can upvote, you can share. Uh, it's very easy to navigate, it's very user friendly. I think the way that it's laid out, um, it will dethrone YouTube once and for all if YouTube doesn't pull their head out of its ass and make sure that they understand that they have to pay the content creators regardless of what they're talking about. It's not fair to silence them and then only, unless like they want their channel to be kid friendly, which is perfectly fine, but that's never what YouTube has been about. And I don't think it's fair to make other content creators be quiet about it. So basically, again, I'll leave the uh, link in the description below, but um, yeah, YouTube is really screwing the pooch on this one. They need to make sure that they understand that they're hurting their content base and a lot of the big YouTubers are gonna leave soon. And they still love doing their videos, they're just gonna find another platform that fits what they do better. And I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing a serious decline in the way that YouTube functions soon. And uh, what do you guys think? Uh, personally, I already have my VidMe channel set up. It's uh, ready to go. I'm going to start uploading all of our stuff simultaneously to here and there. And um, I hope I see everybody over there because YouTube is a dying fad at this point. you know. And it's funny because I, earlier today I was looking at boosting my channel how to get better views how to get more subscribers because we're almost at 500 subs and i think that's pretty cool and uh you know it's 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 sad because i wanted to put even more effort into this but if vidme is going to reward me in such a way that youtube refuses to because youtube doesn't help the little guy anymore because the big channels like dashy the grumps markiplier pewdiepie bring in so many views that they will push those big channels, be like, hey, check out this channel you haven't subscribed to. PewDiePie has 45 million subs. I'm not subscribed to him because I don't watch his content. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to try and push it on me because he uploads a video almost every single day. And by doing so, he gets more ad revenue. Uh, Google gets paid more. YouTube gets paid more. And so why would they want to push a smaller channel that may or may not have good content and then take a risk on that channel? But VidMe does it in such a way that only the best stuff, or they, this is what they say, that only the cream rises to the top when you sign up for their channel. But the community is what makes it, and they say that right in the bio, is that the community makes the videos trend. It's not about a bullshit algorithm that makes the, the video go to the top. It's about the community responding and making sure that they work together, that the best videos come to the top and the forefront of the page. Thanks for listening to me rant for like the last 10 minutes. Um, it's a shame to see what uh, what YouTube has come to. And hopefully they'll they'll pull it together. Thanks guys and I will uh, I'll catch you later.